Greetings one and all, my name is Lancer and welcome back once again to Mashoku Tensei. We'll be watching episode 23, last time on. Our dead end gang is now going our separate ways. Ryujurt has kept his promise. He got Rudius and Eris home, though Rudius doesn't really have much of a home left anymore. And so Ryujurt peaced out. And while we took Eris the rest of the way to her home, she reunited with Ghislaine and we discovered that her parents and grandfather are dead, making her the last one who can carry on the Boreas gray rat name and while her and Rudia shared a passionate night still not clear if it actually happened the way it thought it would but Eris then also dipped with Ghislaine leaving Rudy behind not telling him where she's going so looks like we're ending this season how we started it alone let's get right into the episode I am most interested to see this part of the story now no she still has the cat ears I haven't really seen it on her in a while oh yeah she cut her hair We're drowning. Is that the metaphor? <laughs> Eris. Gotta move on somehow. Oh god, no, I do not want to be back here. I like it. It's like a completely different art style now. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. The fact that that's just like a societal norm. Why? What was his name? Kind of like it if we never knew. I can't say they didn't try. Is that say Mushoku? And then 20 years later. He's at that same low. Oh, well, yeah, he is isolating himself. I mean, he can make water. <laughs> Just make a river. Could you say that she's lost? She was never found, but... Yeah. Don't give him that comfort. I think she had her mind set. She's just gonna be a wandering slayer. Oh. ルーデウスはね、すごいのよ。すごく才能があって。でも毎日魔術の訓練なんて隠さなくて何も怖くなかったわ。ルーデウスがいたから。スペルド族なんて初めて見たぜ。私もだ。獲物語りに聞いたこと
No, oh, Roxy. <laughs> Good lord. I gotta hope she sticks with them. That'd be funny. Kirishika. What? Okay. Don't say drinks are on me if you don't fucking pay. Oh, Roxy. You're gonna give her a demon eye? あ、持ち合わせておらぬがまがうを耐えることならできるぞ。じゃあ私の代わりに陛下のその目で人探しても I don't think Rudy has said his name to her. Do you remember? Uh -huh. They made it. Yeah, good thing he looks like that now, not how he did before. No, the other... <laughs> there's still one missing. How deep? Is she in the center of the earth? Labyrinth. The Begarit continent. Labyrinth city. What was Roxy's love prophecy after defeating a labyrinth? Her and her lover, Rapan. <laughs> I like her as a character, just this random wandering helper. She's probably captured. He'll figure it out. どれだけ俺だって好きでこんなになんか成りたくなかった。周りの人は俺に手を差し伸べてくれていた。それを拒絶してしまった。あれはできる。そう思っていた。そんな夢に浸っていたかった。手を差し伸べてくれる人もいな
Is this... Is this the school? Even after all this time, huh? Huh. Who could that be, I wonder? Well, that was episode 23 of Mishoga Tensei, the penultimate episode. Now we've got one left for season one, which means we're halfway. <laughs> but still, some important things. I mean, it pretty much was, in a way, kind of like a, look how far we've come kind of episode, just like picking up with every character. Everyone that Rudius has had an impact on, he can't just be stuck. He's gotta keep going. Find Zenith. Well, and in his thing, also find Sylphie, but... So who is that there at the end? Is that like... Well, because the whole reason we set out, what sparked us leading to this point was Rudius being like, I want to get a job so I can pay for me and Sylphie to go to, uh... Oh god, I gotta look back pretty far far to find the name of that school um renoa renoa magic school so did a certain person go on without us i mean it has been several years and again i don't know what the age is for you to start attending that school so but everyone's going their own way so at least with eris's thing it's she intends to come back to him Obviously. You don't get a scene of her going, Daisuke Rudesu! On the top of a mountain with her not loving him. Like, all these little things being set up to where I can ultimately see where it probably is going to go, where, like, we're going to converge on this labyrinth city at some point. But Rudeus is setting out? Is he leaving? Dipping? I mean, the guy did say that he needs their help. Okay, again, they need water. Rudeus is the perfect person to give it to them. He can just make a river and then dip. Yeah, Kirishika. I like her as a character just because she is a pretty convenient person to bump into because she sees all. I like just the two interactions we've had with her between Rudius and now Roxy. I mean, now finally we're kind of maybe into it. I mean, granted Rudy doesn't know where Zenith is. He's now going to be sort of playing catch up with Roxy, but now we got to go conquer a labyrinth city of Rapan. Rudius taking those steps. It's a great metaphor. It's also just literal, you know, just having the whole thing of just him being cooped up. Although the difference being obviously in his original life is through being bullied nearly to death. And then in this life, it's... I mean, I don't want to say he's lost everything. I get the depression. It's like they went through all that for the past, like, nearly three years. Him, Eris, and Rudy are just for them to get home. And it didn't matter, really, because Eris' family is all dead, supposedly. I still don't know about her mother and father. And then she just dips on her own again after finally admitting her feelings. I mean, Eris having short hair, and now she reminds me of Sylphie. It gives me worries. Which is kind of now symbolic kind of looking at it, because she's, like, adopting that Rudeus look, you know, having the short hair. Of course, that's always like the symbolic thing with characters with long hair. They cut it off. It's symbolic. They're letting go of all that weight and everything. Yeah, man. One episode left of season one. So yeah, I just can't wait to get into it. But either way, this is my reaction to episode 23 of season one of Mishoku Tensei. Join me next time for episode 24, the finale of season one. As well as everything else will be coming out soon. Until next time, I'm Lancer. Thanks for watching.